to enter me on the inside. Uh, can I take it further? Uh, you know, uh, uh, we have a little time. Uh, it, it's critical now because this is my battle and this is your battle and that is am I going to be overly concerned about the outside at the expense of the inside because when you notice he said that I want you to eat of every tree of the garden except one and that is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now, if God stopped me from eating the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, it's because he was visiting me in the cool of the evening. And in visiting me, he was going to relate to me everything I needed to know about good and evil. So there was no need for me to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and abort a relationship with the Spirit of God because once I ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, then my flesh became dominant and my spirit died. Oh, I hear somebody's with me. Are, are you still with me? It, it, it's a critical piece because now it becomes the substratum or the rudimental principle that governs everything about us. So the gospel message is simply a reiteration of the original situation that was in the mind of God. He is saying essentially, don't you ever question my ability to provide. Because when I brought you in here and I spoke everything into existence and I formed you out of the dust of the ground, I formed you out of the dust of the ground, out of material that's going to pass away. But what I breathed in into you is material that comes from everlasting to everlasting. Uh, I feel it here. Uh, just, just look at somebody. I, I'm not buying one yet, but just look at your neighbor and tell them I, I, I wasn't made in China. <laughs> don't, don't devaluate me. Uh, I wasn't made in the USA. <laughs> I'm heaven made. I was made. I was made by God. Amen. Uh, this is why he makes statements to people like Jeremiah. Before I formed you, uh, or before you were formed, I knew you. You see, there's a side of me that God knows uh, that you don't know yet. And there's a, a side of you that uh, I don't know, but that God knows. Uh, this is why he can map out your life and order your steps in a mechanical world and move you through a world when your cognitive intellectual ability is simply connected to the world around you. So you're trying to figure out what's happening on the surface uh, because God is moving you within the parameters of your senses and your senses are receiving certain signals based on your situation. But the real navigation is not operating in your situation. The real navigation operates in your rev of what's happening on the inside of your being. And what God is saying to you and I is, don't ever get it twisted. Your priority is never about what's outside of you. Your priority is always what's inside. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, oh, 
God. It, it's important now because he, he makes image uh, in the image and in likeness uh, at, at, the, at the expense of uh, being redundant. Uh, the image now is Salem and, uh, uh, and uh, likeness is Demut. And, and it's, it's an incredible combination because there is in you and I, I think Paul puts it another way, we have a treasure in an earthen vessel. And it's interesting how the soul or the lab or the mind or, or the appetite or the person is influenced even by the wrapping or the package. Because your wrapping or your package should never determine how you feel about yourself. I, I must preach this. Uh, because who defines what's good looking? Uh, or, or who defines uh, masculine uh, uh, pulchritudinous uh, 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 magnanimity? I mean, who defines who's fine and who's not fine? Because he made all of us in his image. Uh, the colors don't matter because uh, uh, whether we paint the wall blue or we paint it black, or we paint it green, or we paint it red, or we paint it yellow, it's still a wall. And your color doesn't matter whether you're white, black, green, yellow, uh, 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 chocolate, or, uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 I can't, uh, any, whatever you are, whatever you are. Uh, whatever you are, uh, you're in his image. Uh, and this is why he does not want any one of us to make an image of him. Uh, because if you make an image of him, you have reduced him to a four-footed beast or a bird of the air. And, and, and you have made an image out of him uh, in which he has never breathed a part of himself. Uh, I, I hope you get it. Uh, you are significant because he breathes into you a part of himself. A, a bird has no soul. A, a dog has no soul. Because a dog it didn't get the privilege of having God breathe into him his life. Uh, but you then become that image of God. So he is the only one who can make an image of himself. And when you make an image and worship it as God, you reduce your own image and you reduce his image because anything other than you he does not look in the earth to find. Ah, oh, I feel it here. That's why when he breathed into you the breath of life immediately he said I want you to be fruitful I want you to multiply I want you to replenish and you to subdue the earth ah, I feel it in here it's never yours it's always mine but as long as you're in it I'm going to view my image and I hope you exist in my likeness because you're permanent I wish I could preach they're temporary and nobody ought to get concerned about the temporary at the expense of the permanent oh Lord help me here tonight it's a critical piece now because it defines our space and it puts me in the place where I can understand the significance of who I am. I am a product of God having breathed into the pack 
package that I have on the outside. So don't get carried away with the image. You see, it's part of the world's problem that has become the church's problem. And that is image is everything. I've got news for you. You got that quote there that I don't think I can remember it. Uh, but you see, image is not everything. Likeness is everything. Uh, having the image of God but not having his likeness sends you on a trip that you won't come back from. Uh, I feel like preaching. But when you have his likeness, you are not moved by the vicissitudinous changes of your situation because I know who I am and the clothes don't make me I make the clothes the car doesn't make me I make the car the house doesn't make me I make the house and I'm in a little shack I make the happiness of the shack the mansion doesn't make me happy if I'm happy I'm happy in a shack I feel it here because my happiness does not come from anything in the world it comes from my relationship with God uh, Y'all sit down, I, I got to rest. It, 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 it becomes so clear to me because now he sets some rules in place contingent on my understanding who I am. Uh, just a second time, look at somebody and say, do you know who you are? Uh, I'm not talking about the mirror you are. I'm talking about what is not seen by the naked eye, who you are. Uh, because we have become so outward and so shallow uh, until what God says to us is man looks at the outward. Uh, you know, I, I'm caught up with packages too. Uh, oh yes, and so are you. But at the end of the day, after you pull the ribbon off and get the pretty paper off and cut into the box, oh, uh, amen. It, it, it's, it's critical because we work on the outside and sometimes the outside is deceptive. Uh, that's why when you're baking a cake, you sort of stick it all the way through. And here's what I found out this week, that a whole lot of folk can cook, but few folk know how to bake. Because cooking, you can look on the outside, but baking, you got to know what's going on. Ah, I feel a little church coming on. It's, it's so critical then to understand that when he formed us and set us in the world, everything that we needed was there. And what he's saying to us, it seems like, is you are taking on what I have already done. And I don't need you to concern yourself about anything that is a trapping. What I need you to do is to concern yourself about the disconnect we have on the inside. And I need you to understand that when I put you in the world, I gave you dominion, told you to be fruitful, told you to replenish it, but I never told you to love it.